In this tutorial, we're going to cover a couple different things that an administrator would do throughout their day. Check on leads, monitor the reps, do some uh, coaching perhaps or some barging in on calls. So at this point, you've already logged in as an administrator. We're going to browse to campaigns. So click on campaigns and there's a couple different ways that we can get to the real-time screen so you can monitor the activity of the agents you know are they taking calls how many calls have they taken are they logged in are they logged out are they dispositioning a call those types of things so what we're going to do first is we're going to go to the real-time campaign summary and we're gonna see all of the particular campaigns that you may have active on the system and these campaigns will refresh it'll give you a a summary every three seconds or so and you'll see that the particular summary includes the dial level for the campaign, the hopper level, how many leads are in a particular campaign's hopper, how many agents are logged into that campaign, how many agents are in a pause status. You may also see the dial method type. So you can see that this one is a manual campaign, this one is a ratio campaign. What statuses are going to be called on that campaign? So you can see that the new status is meaning anything in a new lead list is going to be called. So it's not going to call back any callbacks, any answer machines, any no answer calls. Those things can be added at the campaign uh, and at any time. So actually we'll touch base on that shortly. So we're going to modify the training campaign. So click on modify. We're going to add a couple new dial statuses to call. So add a dial status to call. So click on the drop down and it gives you all the available statuses that you can call. So we're going to call back busy autos. Click on the add button. We're going to call back answer machine autos, meaning these are system detected busy and answer machine disposition codes. We're also going to click on call back these are folks that you've probably spoken to that have indicated I'm interested in the product, give me a call back. We're going to add those. And that can refer to a private scheduled callback as well as just normal callback dispositions. Uh, we're also going to call back no answer auto dial, meaning the dialer has made a call to this person and there was simply no answer. We want to call those people back at some point. Okay, so we've added a couple dial statuses to redial <clears throat> at some point in time any lead list that may be associated with this campaign at any time. Now we want to go back to the real-time campaign summary and there's a couple ways that we can do that. One is <clears throat> we can click on the summary again that shows all of the campaign summaries or we can actually just look at this particular campaign real-time summary and we're going to do that now. So I've clicked on the real-time summary for this particular campaign only, and it brings us into a very drilled down, detailed view of what is particularly going on in this, this campaign. Who's logged in? You can see the admin is logged into this campaign as an agent. Uh, their station is 777, session ID, status. You can see that this agent is currently paused. How long they've been in a pause code for? So 556 at this point. And this refreshes every four seconds. So you'll see uh, a four second view. Or every four seconds you'll see a new refreshed view of what's going on in this particular campaign. You can see the campaign they're logged into, of course. How many calls they've taken. Any holds, any calls on hold. And any in-group calls that are currently with this agent. So if they're in a particular inbound campaign or queue, you'll see that inbound queue described right here. So if you have multiple inbound queues, you'll see uh, at any point in time you may see a different inbound queue here. We're going to go ahead and click on the info for this particular agent. You can see that they have no selected inbound groups. We can add or change the inbound groups above just by selecting on them and then choosing add or remove. 
we can choose their blended auto dial on or off at this point in the campaign. And we can also set these as user defaults. A couple of the things we can do is we can show their ID or show their name. So depending on how you want to identify the rep, you can certainly toggle back and forth. Okay. You can also sort by this particular column, minutes and seconds, and you can also sort by campaign. If you're looking at um, all of the campaigns, for example, in this view, which you can do by choose report display options, you can look at all active campaigns and hit the submit button. And it will now show you if we, we had multiple reps logged into different campaigns, it would show us all of our campaigns at the same time. And then we could sort by campaign, by time, and of course user ID, etc. A couple things you're going to see here uh, that are worthy of note, your dial level, leads in the hopper, how many calls today have been processed, the dial method for this particular campaign. Okay, those are important stats. You can also look at the inbound stats or the in-group stats, right? and those will actually display for you. You can show phones, and you can also choose to show customer phones, meaning if you wanted to see who they're in a call with, it'll show the customer's phone number right here. Another very important feature I'd like to bring your attention is monitoring. Okay, so we can actually choose to monitor or barge directly from the interface. We actually have a coach mechanism that we can actually give you for it's a dial code. You dial in and you can also whisper coach or what they call one-way audio coaching. But for now we're just going to do a, we're going to select a monitor and we're going to key in our phone and this can either be our extension on the system, typically a four-digit extension, and in this case it's triple seven or this can be a cell phone number this can be a uh, home phone number so if you're at home and you want to monitor your agents remotely that's that is available you just simply key in whatever phone you're sitting by key that phone number in okay so we're just going to keep triple seven in here for now for training purposes we're going to click the submit button and you're going to see a new link has now popped up next to the session ID and it's going to indicate you can listen. Now let's say we want to do barge too. So we're going to choose barge as well. Now it gives us the option to do both. We can actually listen and or barge. And to do that you simply click on the link and it calls the extension. Once the extension has been called and you've answered you're now able to monitor this live session. Okay. Same thing with barging. When you barge, I do recommend that you barge and have your microphone on mute until you're ready to talk to the prospect or to the customer or whatever the situation is that you're barging in for. Just make sure that you are on mute so you don't give any audio feedback to the customer until you're ready to. All right, at this point, we're going to go back to summary. Again, we're just going to review some of the key things that you can see in summary here as well. Dial level, leads in hopper, possibly a drop percentage if you're monitoring drop call percentages, the dial method, and the kind of statuses that you are actually trying to call on this particular campaign. So no answer auto, call back, answer machine auto, answer busy auto, or auto busy, excuse me, and new leads. That concludes this tutorial on how to monitor your agent's activity, voice monitor or barge on their activity, some of the key settings on the campaign themselves, and how you monitor what the campaign activity looks like from a summary perspective, and also from a detail, detail perspective by clicking on the campaign and then monitoring those particular things in the campaign as well, dial level ratio, statuses, leads, and hopper. Thanks for watching this tutorial, and thanks for using my call cloud.